Well, hello and welcome to, well, that's 10 minutes of my life. I'm not going to get back. Uh, only kidding. Welcome to this edition of me Star Yachts SY1 Restoration. I'm going to be restoring it back to SY1, although it's not fully a factory restor restoration as I'm going to be putting my own twist to it little bits of improvements I hear you all screaming no don't alter an original well to be fair it's a wreck that I got off eBay and it's far from original it had been butchered anyway so anything I do to it can only improve it and make it a far better yacht anyway without too much of a do let's get on with it and see where we're heading up in three two one bring on the thunder and here we go first thing i always do when i'm restoring any boat or building boats is give it a flotation test get the obvious out of the way first and see how it floats because he's had an own built keel keel on it I wanted to see what it looked like and here I'm just starting to file it was a bit of an Heath Robinson keel so I'm filing a bit of extra shape into it so it looks a bit better by the time I've got the weight of the sails on who knows I may have to cut a little bit off the bottom after I've made it once I see how it performs but that's an easy job after just cut a bit off file it up and then give it some extra paint touch the paint up it's no big hardship and here we are, that's getting a nice uh, round curve to it rather than a horrible angular thing it was. Anyway, here I'm taking out the mast mount, whatever the professional name is for it, I haven't a clue. But we're taking it off and we'll see what's going to happen to that later on. And at this point, I've been sanding it there already. And there you can see what the fin looks like. Fin. Keel looks like. Done. And at this point, I'm sanding. The intention is to take it down to Burwood. I've already ordered some of the decals. And here we are back to Burwood. And just giving it a lighter sand. See where we stand. But it's not in too bad shape, the hull. It needed little bits of filler, etc. But it doesn't look too bad. Looks quite a nice shape now. I can live with that. It's still not perfect, but it's better than it was. And uh, at this point, I'm mixing some JB Weld. Although for this job, you could use any epoxy glue really. I prefer to stick with epoxy from my boat building days of the past. I used to build remote control boats. So, this one really compared to what I used to do on the RC stuff is fairly simple. You could say it's plain sailing for one of better words. Oh dear. And anyway, here we go. I'm just filtering it in or try filleting it in. That's the word I think. Down into the gap. God, I'm trying to find a polite word here. I'm trying to be politically correct, which is a rarity for me. And anyway, 
in goes the keel and just use your finger to smear the remaining sticky substance of choice so it also forms a seal between the fin um, keel and the hull when it's set there's some new sales and mat I got off eBay and they look nice I'm, I'm still sticking with the blue colour scheme but it's going to get a varnished deck and I'm going to change the fittings from what they were I think I'm going to use eyelets rather than the knocked in new nails. Because I mean they were good. They were good for what they were a cheap cheap kids toy by the shed full of seaside resorts. And they were a damn good thing about they made them for that. But for a little bit upmarket, you can get better fittings. I'm going to be using brass eyelets instead of you. You nails, they look a lot nicer. Um, putting a brass washer under them as, as they did really on the more expensive endeavours. And just letting in bits of filler here where there's bits of dents and bangs etc and there where it's it's been a little bit rough on the lathe when they've turned it with the grain so I'm just putting a smear of filler on to get rid of all the potholes and stuff and there'll be additional filling once I put the primer on that'll then add an additional filling because I'll be priming, sanding, priming then colour coat and probably a couple of colour coats There we are, any little bits of dents I'm finding. A bit of fillers going in. And here is the deck fitting I took out. It's battered flat because I'm not going to be reusing it. I'm going to be remaking another. It's protective surface they put on, it's peeled off and it's got dents and bumps in it. And corrosion, I can, I can make a nicer one. A bit of brass sheets and it's two minutes to cut it out and shape it and then bend it. And get the Dremel out, some salvo and polish it. And here we put the old damaged bit in on top of brass sheet and give it a spray with spray cam. I've gone for matte black here, you can use your colour of choice. Flick it off and there you are. Nothing simple and marked out. Anyway, thanks for watching this part one. Hope to catch you in part two. Please subscribe and thank you all for watching. Bye for now.